Hey guys, Lauren here with the Pavement Ends channel, and I'm happy to report that we're off on another adventure. Uh, this time I'm going to be heading into southeast Washington, northeast Oregon, and maybe even into Idaho a bit. I kind of wanted to have a look at the Hell's Canyon area. Camped in there a little bit, but never really went in there and looked around thoroughly like I want to do. Um, right now I'm in the North Cascades. Just a gorgeous day today. Yeah, the winds are a little too strong for flying today, or otherwise I'd have the drone up so I could look around and we could get a look at this rest of this scenery. But it's still, it's awesome to see. Uh, the fall colors are really hitting hard here in the mountains. So really making it enjoyable. Not to mention, you know, not to mention all these frosty peaks. There's snow in some of these mountains already. Oh man, it's just gorgeous out here. So I wish I could bring it to you in 3D. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys down the road. Thanks for joining me. As you can see, this is the place to be. This is just a gorgeous little spot in the world, and I'm happy to bring it to you. Although I wish I could do it with more vivid, looming splendor that, that I'm enjoying right now. Uh, the cameras do take away a lot of the, the loomingness of everything. Hey guys, well, a little update. We're in the Okanogan National Forest. It's about seven o'clock in the evening and it's time to find a place to camp for the night. Right now I'm on a, basically a cattle trail. Just hoping to find a little, a little nook somewhere where I can pull in and have a little solitude. I think I just found it. Yeah, I think I found a little wide spot in this practically never used road. Looks like actually the start of another 
road that used to go off to one side, but it looks like it's not in use anymore, kind of grown over. So I think I'm just going to back into this spot and set up camp. I backed into this little spot here and saw what looks like an abandoned road but just from here it looks like it might lead a little bit farther down maybe a little more privacy off the so-called main road here um, this road here doesn't look like it's traveled very much but there are some other folks out here in the woods so maybe this will give us just another little degree of privacy so let's take a walk back there and see if there's another little spot. Just maybe there's a little bit better spot. That's kind of the trap we fall into when we're out overlanding is there's always just a little bit better spot just around the corner if we only go a little farther. Oh yeah, this has potential. Oh yeah, Peter's out right there. So there'll be nobody coming this way. Yeah, you can see where the rig is parked up there. So, I don't know if... <laughs> I don't know if this is helping, but yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk up and uh, bring the rig back. This is a great little camping spot, so I'll be right back. Sure is quiet out here except for my talking and dark, serious dark. So let's set up camp, get comfortable, and relax. Well, good morning. As you can plainly see, there's been a slight change in the weather. Now, I was expecting uh, some sprinkles, some rain that they predicted. But I guess we're high up enough here where we get this. I just think it's gorgeous. The only drawback to this is if we get too much of it, uh, there won't be any driving up in the high country, up in the mountains. I kind of wondered if this might happen, and <laughs> it looks like maybe it has. 
that's okay we'll find someplace somehow uh, as you can see it's still uh, pretty dark out even though it's going on seven o'clock in the morning I'm sure the clouds and snow have something to do with uh, help keep the sunlight away but I'm telling you it's a gorgeous morning out here just beautiful we have to leave at this time of the morning because I'm gonna meet my uh, unnamed friend in Idaho in Milton Freewater Oregon we're gonna get some coffee there and then head up into the into the hills at no time am I planning to be on any freeways during this trip again so that should tell you the kind of adventure I'm hoping for. Alright, I will see you guys on the road after I show you just a little bit of scenery here.